Well, there is a big change in store next season if you're going to a Denver Broncos game. That's right. No more paper tickets. Instead, you'll get them on your smartphone. CBS4 investigator Rick Salinger has often reported on ticket fraud over the years for us. So is that why the Broncos are making the change? Well, that and convenience, yeah. Jim and Karen. When I think of ticket fraud, I think back a decade ago when we met a young man and his dad who had gotten cheated out of seeing a Broncos game. We thought it might be interesting to catch up to that boy today and see what he thinks of this new plan. You know, as a little kid, you expect to go to a Broncos game and you get all hyped up to go and you get there and you can't go. Times have changed for Dakota Kilburn and so too the Denver Broncos. We met Dakota and his late father Chuck 10 years ago. The dad spent $300 to take Dakota to a Broncos game for his 11th birthday. The tickets turned out to be fake. People, you just don't need to be that cruel. You don't. Three men from Atlanta were arrested by Denver police and charged with selling counterfeit Broncos tickets. You know, a man was trying to take his son there for his birthday. I didn't have anything to do with it. I'm possibly accused. Now in hopes of eliminating ticket fraud, the Broncos are going to digital tickets. Like some other NFL teams, they will be accessed by can be transferred to other people. It's definitely a good idea. That way this doesn't happen to anybody else. But with the bad that happened Gary a decade ago, there was uh, also good. Gary and Evan Carter gave them their tickets for a game. That I didn't know people could be so cruel. And now? People can be really nice to people. And there was more. The mother of then Broncos player DJ Williams took Dakota and his dad to a game. It was amazing just how they reached out to us and brought us in and treated us like family. And that's where he caught his first pass. At least from an NFL player. Happy to say Dakota now has a wife and a little boy named Ryder. And if you don't have a smartphone, well, there will be an alternative. It'll be a card with a radio frequency ID to get you in. Jim and Karen? Yeah, I wonder when Dakota will take his little boy to a I game. Know. Hopefully one day. Not yeah. too long in the future. <laughs> That'd be nice. Thanks, Rick.